So what does every golfer want? My guess would be more distance with the driver. Today I will show you three ways where you can increase your distance off the tee with the big one. My name is Nikolai Setti Engstrom. I'm from Danish Golf Academy. Let's get started. Many factors determine how far you hit the ball. Where you hit the ball at the club face and which path the club is coming into the ball are really important. The angle the ball takes off at it and the amount of backspin has a huge impact as well on the distance. And of course, the speed you can swing the club at is really, really, really important as well. And that is the factor we're going to focus at today. So the first tip is going to be about the rotation of your body. And what I want you to do is I want you to use your hips as well as the upper body to turn in the backswing. Way too many people try to only rotate the upper body, which is going to put a lot of stress on the lower back. And they're not going to be able to turn a lot. So make sure that you rotate both your upper body and the lower body in your backswing. A drill you could do would be to place the club at your hips and see how much you can turn only in your hips. And then when you add the upper body, it's going to be a lot of turning, which is going to add distance to the shot. So the second tip is going to be about the body, how it goes from flexion to extension during the swing. If you imagine a wood chopper, how he applies force to the axe is by going from flexion to extension and back to flexion again. And I want you to do the same in the full swing. So in the back swing or in the setup, we're in flexion. And then I want you to go back into extension. As you can see, my right leg, my whole right side has extended, which is gonna add power. Then we're going back into flexion. And then on the other side, we're gonna extend again on this side. All right, this is really important. Many players, they only turn and turn on the other side. It's not gonna add a lot of power. So make sure that you go from flexion to extension, back to flexion, extension again. It's gonna look like this. Now that you've learned to rotate your body and extend in the backswing, we're missing the final piece and that is the third tip. And what I want you to make sure of is that the club and the hands, they move around your body in a circle instead of moving up and away. What that does is that the distance the club head travels is gonna be longer if you swing around yourself instead of swinging up. And a longer distance means more potential power to the shot. All right, so a great drill to do this would be to place an alignment stick right about here. So this is the target line. Then we're gonna place an alignment stick on the ground. And this alignment stick is gonna be the path the club hit and the hands is gonna travel at in the backswing. And that means moving around yourself in a circle. That's gonna apply more force to the shot, which means more power. You've now learned three really important things in order to increase the club head speed. And what I want you to do the next time you're on the driving range, in the last minutes, I want you to hit 10 drivers where the only goal is to hit it as hard as you can. Don't care about where it goes, don't care about how it looks, but I want to see how fast you can swing the club. So that's gonna look something crazy like this. All right, as I said, don't care about where it goes. The only goal is to swing as hard as you can. And then over time, it's gonna increase your club head speed a little bit every time and add distance to your drives. 